A radical remission is when someone heals from cancer in a statistically unlikely way. So this is someone who heals from cancer against t tremendous odds. In my research specifically, what that means is someone who heals from cancer after Western medicine has not worked. So their doctors have tried surgery, chemo, radiation, it's not working, they send them home, they say, we're sorry, there's nothing more we can do. When someone in that situation then gets better, that's a radical remission. I also study people who are diagnosed with cancer officially, but they choose from the beginning not to do conventional medicine, and that's just a personal choice that they make. Some of those people get well by using these alternative methods, so that's also considered a statistically unlikely remission. So it's really these two categories, people who don't use Western medicine ever, from the moment they're diagnosed, they only use alternative and they still get well, or people who try Western medicine to its fullest, but unfortunately it doesn't work, and then at that point, they turn to alternative, uh, alternative methods. For as long as cancer has been recorded and reported, so have radical remissions. And to, to know that, to discover that as a researcher, and then to see that nobody was looking at these, it just seemed, it didn't make sense. You know, here we are, we're trying to, you know, win the war on cancer, and we have these people who've won the war in incredible ways, and yet we're just ignoring them. It really, it actually upset me because I've lost loved ones to cancer, and we all have. And when I was training as a researcher at UC Berkeley, I was taught very clearly, you don't ignore anomalies, what are called outliers. You, don't, you can't just ignore them. When they, when they come up in your model, in your data set, it's not responsible to just say, oh, well, we've got all these people up here on the graph, but oh, we'll just forget about them. Who, who cares about them? No, you can't ignore them. You need to study them, you need to go in depth. And I can't tell you how many people that I've interviewed who have said to me, Dr. Turner, you are the first person in a research capacity, doctor, researcher, to ask me what I did to get well. And that just breaks my heart because these people turned around stage four cancer. That is amazing. I should not be the first person to have asked them how they did it. That's wrong. <laughs> I've learned to follow the nine factors. <laughs> you know, it's when you meet when you meet hundreds and hundreds of people who have had these incredible turnarounds, and they're all doing the same thing. It as not just as a researcher, but as a person, as a mother, I get you get to a point where it would just be foolish of me not to bring these things into my own life. So I'm really grateful to have done this research because it's changed me. You know, I I eat differently. I meditate now. I take, you know, vitamins and herbs every single day. I, I work on releasing stress and, and not moving towards anger or sadness so quickly. You know, I let those emotions come into my life, but then I let them out. So absolutely, studying these people has changed every part of me, but for the better. Mm -hmm.